What's up you guys, my name is Brian. I sell used clothing full time on eBay and I wanna take you guys to the thrift stores today and kinda of show you what type of stuff I put into my store so you guys can uh, either get some entertainment or maybe you can resell this stuff for yourself. All right, this is my room real quick before we get started just so you guys can get an idea of what I'm working with here. Pretty small space, there's my shipping set up there. Uh, but yeah, let's head to the thrift store and get to it. All right, the first find of the day is this Pink Floyd Vintage Wish You Were Here shirt. I actually listed it on eBay and sold it already. It sold within a day for $150 plus $6 shipping. This is one of the best finds I've ever found. I only picked it up for $3. And then there's a couple other shirts here. Uh, vintage shirts of an artist I don't know, but I looked it up and uh, they, they were going for decent money. Next up we have these green Lulu pants. I'm wondering if I should keep these. These are my size. They're green and have uh, some wool in them. So I don't know, pretty good pick up there. Uh, we got some more Lululemon pants here. Here is a uh, black pair and here is a, <coughs> excuse me, khaki pair. And I actually am definitely gonna keep these. I actually took a little video. I put them on, tried them on and I love them. So I'm gonna keep these khaki ones here and sell the black ones. Another pair of Lulu's actually here is a blue pair um, These ones are a little bit faded. These are also my size, um, but they're a little bit faded So I'm gonna sell them and give somebody a good price on them The territory ahead. I've been selling this brand for a very long time XLT good size uh, Here's a roar shirt great brand to pick up good size XL BKE from the store buckle these are pearl snap shirts uh, the more western pearl snap looking ones, the ones that look really cool, uh, do really well. And there was a couple of these, size 2XL, even better. Uh, pretty good patterns, good condition. Uh, just good bread and butter items. So another one, pearl snap, another 2XL. Probably overpaid for this, but just a uh, Under Armour polo. I thought it was, uh, I don't know, good pattern. So probably paid too much, but it's all right. Here's Falconable or Fa Fossy Knob, I think is what you call it. Here's the logo in the front, which I think helps it sell a little bit. So I decided to pick it up for $5. Here's a Bugatti shirt, not the greatest brand, but it was the eight way stretch and a good pattern and a decent price. So I decided to pick it up. Tory Richard, good bread and butter brand, good pattern. Rent Spooner, always a good seller. Always pick those up. True Grit Corduroy Flannels should do pretty well. This is a vintage James World Jams Fast shirt with motorcycles on it. It actually sold within a day for $70 plus $6 shipping. There were a ton of jeans here, 34 Heritage. They wanted $10 for them. Maybe I paid up too much. What do you guys think? Uh, there was a bunch of them here. Ended up buying them all, uh, at least the ones that were in good condition. And there were some other brands here, um, like Citizens of Humanity. Um, let's see what else here. That was it. There was a couple over here that were uh, in not good, not in good condition, so I decided to not pick them up. Here's a Lululemon top. I might even keep this one. <laughs> Again, in my size, I don't know. I love Lulu, so I like to keep a lot of the stuff that's in my size. 32 Bar Blues, pretty good brand here. Nice polo. Tommy Bahama uh, polo, not the greatest item. Maybe I shouldn't have picked it up, but these Island Zone ones do really well. Here's a Robert Graham polo. It's super cool. It's got sharks all over it. Maybe I should keep this one too. No, I don't know. Probably doesn't fit me very well. Bugatti, another not great brand, but a great print. So I decided to pick this up. It's only $5. Um, super cool print there. Should do well. This is a great brand. I love this brand as well. Faraday. Uh, these are soft Henley shirts. Decided to pick all of them up. Very good brand. Here's Gitman Bros. Gitman Bros does very well. Make sure to always pick them up in good condition. It was only $5. So it was a pretty good sourcing day for me. That isn't every item that I picked up. I kind of skipped over some stuff, but I tried to pick up about 42 items a day. So my goal is to list about 30 items a day, not about 30 items a day. I am listing 30 items a day, seven days a week. So I try to pick up 42 items 
uh, so that way I don't have to source on the weekend. And I also try to list 42 items Monday through Friday, so that way I can take the weekends off. Sometimes that doesn't always happen, and I end up having to work over the weekend. That's how business works sometimes. But uh, yeah, try to get up 30 listings a day. Need to pick up 42 items Monday through Friday. You know, sometimes on the weekends I will go to community sales or rummage sales, stuff like that. So um, in that case, I have extra items and I don't have to go sourcing during the week or whatever. You know, I can do it however I want. But 42 items a day is sort of my goal at the thrifts. So uh, yeah, if you liked the video, please uh, like and subscribe. And yeah, have a good day.